Hi, I'm Jade Grady, an Editorial Success Manager here at Shorthand, and today I want to talk about what it takes to make a great digital magazine. Now this might sound strange, but for too long, digital magazines have been some of the worst examples of digital publishing. Too often they're hard to find, clunky to read, and visually uninteresting. But this is changing. Content teams are moving away from PDFs and flipbooks, which precisely no one enjoys reading, to digital experiences built natively on the web. If this sounds like your team, stick around for nine tips on building a successful digital magazine. Make it easy to read. Our first tip is an obvious one, but it bears repeating. Make it easy to read. Too many digital magazines are published as PDFs or flipbooks. These publications successfully mimic print magazines, including the ability to horizontally flip through pages, but they give a horrendous reading experience online. Instead, build your magazine content using software designed and engineered to make the most of the modern web, just like this great example from the University of Queensland's Contact Magazine. Put the digital in digital magazine. The classic magazine layout, a few dozen or more pages stapled together in the middle, is a great format for print. But let's face it, it's a terrible layout for digital. Instead, embrace the norms of web publishing. Publish each piece of content to its own URL, interlink as needed, incorporate high resolution images, video and data visualizations, animate natively in the browser, ensure quick page loading, and optimize for all viewports and devices. This is what Imperial College London did in this great story from Imperial Magazine. Embrace quality. A digital magazine is not a blog. Typically, magazine stories have progressed through an editing and quality assurance process, particularly for feature stories. A designer may have also worked on illustrations and other visual assets. A magazine publication is also much more of an event, with hard deadlines and, depending on the title, dedicated marketing campaigns attached. This emphasis on quality should extend to its publication on the web. You see this dedication to quality in every issue of the Wilderness Society's journal. Avoid developer and web design bottlenecks. Why are so many digital magazines published as PDFs or flipbooks? The main reason is that the alternatives have usually required developers and web designers, which is prohibitively expensive. But here's the good news. There are now no code and code optional alternatives. It's possible to build great and visually impressive magazine stories without hiring a developer. This makes it much easier and cheaper for your team to build stories that look amazing on the web. Animate your stories. Digital magazines aren't just print magazines that happen to be on the internet. To stand out, you need to make the most of the latest in web technologies. One technique used by the world's best storytellers is scroll-based animation effects. You can see this used by Pioneer's Post in the Big Issue magazine. Using several pairs of static images and without writing a line of code, they've created and implemented a compelling animation. Work from themes and templates. Digital magazines have the potential to suck up an inordinate amount of time, particularly with designers working away on layouts and software like InDesign. When building content for the web though, it's best to work with pre-existing templates and themes. This will make it possible to reliably produce great looking stories with your brand identity, including colors, fonts, logos, and more. Automatically applied and automatically fully responsive. Don't build an app. A few years ago, it seemed like nearly every publisher was building an app, for better or for worse. To put it mildly, not all of these investments paid off. The rise of app overload has meant that most apps on most devices are never opened. The lesson is clear. Unless you're the New York Times, most people aren't going to download your app just to access your content. But you don't need to make an app to create great content. Take the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, whose magazine is a constant source of visually impressive web content. Don't start with a PDF. If you have design capacity, focus your efforts on designing stories within the parameters of an existing storytelling platform. This will automate many of the fiddly things, like responsive design, and enable a more impressive reading experience. Crucially, this experience will be optimized for readers on the web and won't just be a print afterthought. Automate the hard stuff. Our final tip is important for publishing and marketing teams working on a budget. Digital publishing is tricky to get right. 
standards are rising, browsers are becoming more powerful, and readers are accessing content on multiple devices and screen sizes. Unless you have a developer and web designer permanently on hand within your team, let specialist content platforms handle the backend magic. This will save you money in the long run and ensure that you can focus your efforts on the creative side of publishing your amazing digital magazine. That's it for this episode. If you're looking for more inspiration, sign up for our newsletter at shorthand.com. There, you'll find the best of the best stories published for the web in your inbox every other week. See you next time.